All right, so today I'm coming to you with day 41 inside of a 60-day video challenge. And if you happen to be catching this video live, do me a favor and hit pound live. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you happen to be catching a replay, hit pound replay and let me know where you are tuning in from. So the thing that I want to talk about today is how in a content framework that I use to be able to create content and to attract people to me. So here's the thing, when you have a framework to be able to deliver content, you can really use that on so many different levels. You can use that framework to go ahead and create email copy. You can use the framework to uh, write, uh, write sales videos. You can use the framework to do um, lead magnets. You can use the framework to do so many different things, which is why um, you know, I love frameworks, which is why I'm going to go ahead and share this framework with you because I believe that when you have the framework, then creating content is going to be just that much more easier for you. A couple of weeks ago, someone reached out to me and the person was doing something at their church. And one of the things that they were doing at their church is that they wanted to be able to educate the Haitian community. I'm of Haitian descent. And they wanted to educate parents. They wanted to educate those people who are in high school. Um, they wanted to give those individuals some tools for success. And one of the things the person that was running this organization wanted to do is this person wanted to educate the students about the financial aid process. And so I'm connected to this individual. This person reached out to me and said, hey, Vladimir, would you be willing to do a financial aid presentation to help the students understand what is the financial aid process when they decide to go to college? And I told this individual, you know what? I haven't given a financial aid presentation in about four years. I don't know that I can do it. And this person was like, listen, you're the only person that I know that can talk about this. This is a very hot topic. Can you help out? So what I decided to do is even though I had not given that presentation in about four years, I went back to a framework that I developed about eight years ago. Eight years ago, I used to do presentations to high school students about the financial aid process. And I simply just had a framework that I used. So I went back to that framework. And when I went back to that framework, I went back to that framework for two reasons. The first reason why I went back to that framework is to say, okay, does the things that I used to know, are some of those things still applicable? And thing number two, can I still use this framework today? So after doing some research and after doing some things, I found that from a foundational standpoint, the foundational things that I, you know, that I had knew and I had that I had been using for so many so many years, those foundational things are still true and the framework is still very applicable even though I haven't used the framework in quite some time. So, I was able to, you know, dust off some things, pull together the uh, use the framework and using that framework, I was able to go and deliver and provide that financial aid, um, you know, that financial aid presentation. It was well received. Um, you know, I already knew and anticipated some of the questions and so on and so forth. So I'm saying all of this to say to you that you know, frameworks they could be they could be saviors, right? So I like to be able to create framework once and be able to use them over and over again. And in today's environment, right, as as an individual who help people with the marketing and the lead generation process. I use quite a few different frameworks. I was just having a conversation with a client of mine a couple of days ago who wants to be able to create video content because they know that if to create video content as part of their marketing process, they can go ahead and attract people to them. Well, what is the sticking point? The sticking point is the sticking point that most of us usually have is, hey, I want to be able to do X, Y, and Z, but I don't necessarily know where to start. So what I did is I went over a framework that I use to be able to deliver that type of content. And that's the framework that I'm gonna be able to share with you um, today. So the framework essentially for delivering content, let's just say you wanna deliver say a 20 minute piece of content and that 20 minute piece of content is going to allow someone who doesn't know much about you to connect with you and that person's gonna have the ability to learn more about what it is that you do. They're gonna have the ability to learn more about the benefit that you offer and essentially um, possibly go to the next step of your marketing process. So step one in the framework starts off with your backstory. Someone is consuming content from you for the very first time. You want to go ahead and connect that person with your backstory. Why did you get started with the thing that you're doing um, you know, right now? 
So essentially, you are an entrepreneur. Did you just wake up and start to be an entrepreneur or is there a backstory? Why did you choose the type of entrepreneurship that you're in now? Why did you choose that industry? What did you, why did you get into what it is that you're doing now? Backstories are very important because it allows that individual to go through a journey to understand you know, why you're doing what you're doing. And the other thing that I like about backstories as well is that sometimes the backstories connect to some of the things that your audience um, has done in the past and or some of the things that they may be going through you know, now. So part of my backstory is that you know, for my first business, I spent close to $80,000. I made no sales. I had no idea as to what I was doing from a marketing, from a lead generation standpoint. And I went through a lot of different things from a roller coaster standpoint. Well, the good news is that you know, I figured out some things, but the bad news is that, you know, it took me a lot of time to do it. Well, the people that I'm trying to convey the message to, they may be going through that exact same thing right now, or there's a possibility that they may, be, that they may go through it in the future. By them listening to your backstory and knowing that, you know what, you've been there, done that type of thing, it connects them and it shows them that, um, you know, you had a path, you made some mistakes or whatever the case may be. So connect people with your backstory and don't be afraid to share um, and be vulnerable in that process. All right, cool. So after your backstory, you are obviously bringing people to a video or to a piece of content to, um, to share a topic with them and or to make a point. This, this piece of content that you're watching right now, the point that I wanna go ahead and share with you is my framework of how I develop content to attract clients to me. Well, that's my topic. That's the point that I want to be able to make. So that is the next step in the content framework is, okay, why are you creating this content in the, in the first place? What's your point? What point are you trying to drive? And um, what topic is, uh, what is the topic for the piece of content? So after you tell the individuals, this is the topic. So, you know, today what I want to discuss with you, I want to discuss with you how to do X, Y, and Z. The reason why you should, so the next step is you want to tell them why they should even listen. Why should you listen to this? Why is this important? What is it going to do for you? So on and so forth. The reason why you should listen to this topic is because this topic is going to help you to avoid this pain. It's going to uh, allow you to uh, accomplish this goal just that much faster. It's going to help you to avoid these different pitfalls and it's going to give you the life that you've always wanted. So what you're doing is you're just painting a picture to the individuals and telling them the importance of this piece of content. You didn't just wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm just gonna go and start to put together a piece of content. I'm putting together this piece of content. I'm talking about this topic. I'm making this point because this is what it's going to do for you if you listen and or if you implement. And then after you do that, the next step is you go into a story and or a metaphor because people sometimes um, remember stories and they can connect with metaphors. So at the beginning of this piece of content, the story that I told you is that someone reached out to me to be able to do a financial aid presentation. I hadn't done a financial aid presentation in quite some time, but I went back to the framework. So I use a story to bas basically tell you why frameworks are important and how I recently used the framework. I'm also, I've also told you that um, you know I have a client that I was working with a couple of days ago. That client wanted to deliver a piece of content, but that client had no idea what to say, what to do. And I'm telling you the story of how I use the framework to be able to help that client. So stories and metaphors are very, very, very important. And after you tell the story and or the metaphor, the last thing that you want to be able to do is you want to be able to tell them some things that they need to consider and or tell them some things that they need to do from an action step standpoint. So from an action step standpoint, I just gave you the action steps. I told you you need to have a backstory. I told you that you need to have a topic and or you need to be making a point. Tell them why it's important. Use a metaphor. And then last but not least, um, have action steps. And I just gave you the action steps. So that is the framework that I use to deliver content and to attract people to me. Now, this framework that I am giving you is one piece of a bigger pie. What is that bigger pie? The bigger pie that I have is I have a client attraction system that I use to help coaches and consultants set up marketing processes, set up lead generation process and helps and set up process so that way they can go ahead and attract more clients to them. If you would like to possibly explore how that entire system 
might be able to help you in your business, depending on where you are watching and or listening to this piece of content, there's going to be a link somewhere around this piece of content that's going to simply allow you to schedule a time. And that time is simply going to allow us to um, have a conversation around whether or not my client attraction system would be a good fit for what it is that you're trying to accomplish and whether or not it makes sense for us to work together. A link is going to be somewhere around this video. So that's it. That's all I have for you for this piece of content. Pound live if you're live. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And pound replay if you happen to be catching this via the replay. That's it for now. I'll talk to you soon.